What's going on, CDL fans? Welcome to Player Profiles, the series where we talk about one player every episode, cover their career, and then rank them on our all-time tier list at the end. As you can see by the title and thumbnail today, which is the first episode, we're going to be talking about the 2022 MVP, Celium. Celium is a 21-year-old Call of Duty player from the United States, now playing for Atlanta Phase. Celium started his career on the EU United Cadets, but got his real big break on the professional level when he joined Phase Clan in Black Ops 4. If you come all the way to the beginning, you can see Celium started competing back in IW, but a lot of these were SND tournaments playing with the likes of Illy and Dashi, uh, current obviously pro players that I'm sure you all know of. And you know, he played throughout World War II, but you can see he came all the way into Black Ops 4 and he starts to get his, his real pro level debut here on phase with Zuma, Attach, Crowder, and Priesta. Obviously, this doesn't last super long where he only plays for two months and 23 days, then moves to phase Black and then back to phase Clan not too long after. The original E United cadets team all the way back here in 2017 was also with the likes of illy simp and turnip i personally never even heard of turnip i'm not gonna lie to you but obviously we all know illy and simp going into 2019 into with the start of the cdl you can see obviously when phase rebranded to atlanta phase for the franchise spot that team consisted of a bz Celium, major maniac priesta and simp fast forwarding into 2021 Celium did win the stage four player of the year in cold war and then coming up to this year he was like i said in the beginning the MVP for the season in Vanguard, as well as made the All-Star First Team. As you can see, Celium is ranked 32nd right here in the middle in all-time wins. He has six major victories, three of which were online. And you can see those here on this screen looking at his major wins in his tournament results. Of course, Celium has a ring. They did win Call of Duty Champs in 2021 Cold War. As well as, as we all know, Celium also has two second places at COD Champs in Modern Warfare and Vanguard. Now let's shift gears and look at his 2022 stats for Vanguard, the most recent season. Celium led the way for players that played all season in KD with a 1.24, which is absolutely insane. You can see here, I mean, just looking at his KD ratios, he's pretty much going to be at the top of everything. I mean, a 1.21 in search and destroy, a 1.27 in hard point, a 1.19 in control. He's basically, I believe, he was top two in every single statistical KD category. Um, I think only falling short of Dashi in the control KD. Celium was by far the best statistical player this year, as well as just the best player, even if you don't necessarily look at it from a statistical standpoint. He is one of the best players in the league and definitely was deserving of the MVP here in 2022. Now to touch on some of Celium's strengths. For each of these player profiles, we're going to talk about three of their strengths. So for Celium, the first thing I had to write down was he's the hardest kill in the league. You've pretty much heard this from every professional if you've listened to any of them talk about this. Celium is easily one of the hardest people to kill in the league if not the hardest he i mean obviously mo a lot of pros snake Celium is the one who gets the most flack for snaking but if you watch champs you saw almost every pro doing it um so Celium is definitely one of the hardest people to kill and he he knows all the spots to give himself the best head glitch and give himself the best opportunity to win a gunfight he consistently has a high kd every single year like we just went through stats for this past year which was the highest kds in almost every game mode Celium is consistently going to give your team kills and do it at a high efficiency ratio where he's not dying a ton as well. And lastly, one of the things I think that sets Celium apart the most is he always knows every angle. He knows the best lineups for, you know, killing people off bomb and how to get people through walls like we saw in Vanguard a ton of times here at Champs uh, this past weekend. Celium knows all the angles. He puts in that work to learn these things, which I think is one of the things that really sets him apart from a lot of other pros. Now, as I'm going to do at the end of every one of these player profile episodes, I'm going to rank the player on this tier list. I think I did a pretty good job kind of adding these tiers. So yeah, goats which is obviously the greatest players of all time we have legends who are just under the tier of goat don't make it out of that category but are legendary in the scene we have people who are great people who are goods people who are next up so this is more going to be for the you know the younger players that are next up and then we have just pros you know people who you know they were professional players they don't really fit into any of those categories but they're of course not bad by any means because they were professionals so to rank Celium here, I personally put Celium in the greats category. Um, I don't think he's made it into the legends category yet. Yes, he has a ring. He only has six major victories, which is 32nd all time on the list, which is not bad by any mean, of course, which is why he's in the greats category. He has some of the best individual skill I think we've seen, especially in recent years. But I don't know that he's done enough to make it into the Legends category, especially, and I know this can vary for every person, but three half, which is 50%, three of his six major victories were online, 
which I do think kind of takes away a little bit from his major victories. But I still think Selium is one of the greats, and I do think has plenty of time and plenty of opportunity and most likely will move up in this to Legends or even the GOAT category eventually. Thank you all so much for watching this player profile covering Selium. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Call of Duty and CDL content, and I will see you all in the next one.